Welcome back. We're in Exodus chapter 17, and today, verses 5 to 7, the people are thirsty again. They're moaning, quarreling, groaning, complaining again. So verses 5 to 7, let's see what happens next. Moses said to God yesterday, and we looked at this, uh, I really don't know what to do at this point. They're just about ready to stone me. Things are kind of intense right now. Lord, what's next? Let's look at the what goes on from verse 5 to 7. Then the Lord said to Moses, Pass before the people and take with you some of the elders of Israel, and take in your hand your staff with which you struck the Nile, and go. Behold, I will stand before you there on the rock at Horeb, and you shall strike the rock, and water will come out of it that the people may drink. And Moses did so in the sight of the elders of Israel. He named the place Massah and Meribah because of the quarrel of the sons of Israel and because they tested the Lord, saying, Is the Lord amongst us or not? So that last piece is a piece of added information, right? We didn't hear that in the first four verses yesterday, but they're saying, Is the Lord among us or not? And that's either what they're actually saying, or at least it's what they're thinking. It's what, what they're What's what their behavior amounts to? Is God with us or not? And, you know, people seem to have, they, they condemn us today in the 2020s, you know, for having this ultra short attention span. Like we can't hardly even um, remember, remember if we tied our shoe. But here we have, uh, these people seem to have sort of an attention span issue too, don't they? Is the Lord with us or not? Yeah, he parted the Red Sea for you just, just a few miles back. He, he, he delivered you from Egypt with the 10 plagues. Do you remember that? Is that is that like still in your memory or have you forgotten that? So, and here's a group of people that haven't been junk fooding out. You know, we can't just say, well, I'm sorry, I ate too much cheese. Uh, what we've got here is we've got people who, uh, they're being fed now on manna. <laughs> so uh, they're getting a, a lean diet, a, a healthful diet, and, and but here's the moaning thing again. So, Let's, let's think about these, these things here. So God brings Moses along. And he says, okay, take your staff. They'll, that'll help people remember. Get some of the elders of Israel and go with them, right? And so this is what you're going to do. You're going to pass before the people. Uh, you're going to call these things to mind because of the way you're doing this. Now, notice he says, behold, I will stand before you there on the rock at Horeb. Who is I? Is that God? God's going to stand before Moses on the rock at Horeb. Moses is to strike the rock and water will come out of it so that the people can drink. And then we just simply have at the bottom of verse 6, that's what Moses did. It all happened just that way. God came there. God stood there. God was there present in the, on the rock there with, with Moses. The elders are there. Moses has got a staff. He strikes the rock and water gushes out of the rock. And so that's what you have. You don't have a really a, a divine uh, analysis here. You just say, you see that Moses named it Masad Meribah because, you know, the bitter idea of bitter and quarreling. And uh, they tested the Lord. This was wrong. And yet again, yet again, how many times now? I, I don't know. I've lost count. But how many times? And here it is, yet another one. The people are all wrong. And God is now God's going to give them a big drink in the desert. So this is just the kind of God he is. And uh, he's many times provoked to his face and instead he does good to us. Well, that is just, we, we just have a God that's just way better than we deserve. So praise the Lord for that. And is the Lord among us or not? That's not the right spirit. That's not the right attitude. And God provides water from a rock. So there we have him. This is the vicious God, the vicious God of Mount Sinai and the Ten Commandments and the Old Testament God who's so, so arrogant and vicious and, and toxic. Here he's giving them more water with, without any real justification. The people have been nasty and God is just dishing them out, more food and water. So I think a lot of the times these ideas about the God of the Old Testament, he's a, he's a, he's a vicious sort. That's not said by people who have followed, as we've been following, line by line, what God has done for his precious people out in the desert here in the book of Exodus. All right, that'll be all for today, and we will look for you tomorrow morning.